All right, Trey. See you tomorrow. Oh, see you, Donald. Don't work too hard now. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Hey, uh, good work on that McDonough project. It was really good. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, uh, this is Trey. I had an appointment to show some of my work to Mr. Lyons today at 7.30. Oh, okay. Um, would it be possible to reschedule? Okay, thanks, I guess. that gig at Uncle Joe's, right? Oh man, that stage had the worst sticky spot. <laughs> Dude, that smell? Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, seriously though, like, I'd give you that for singing as long as you did. If that were me, I would have been done in like two minutes. Yeah. Mmm. What about this CGI gig? How did that go? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. How was it, man? Man, can you believe it? They blew me off. It took me like weeks to get that appointment. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You get him a shot. You know what? He's right. I've never seen somebody work so hard at a dream job before. You keep working at it, you'll get there eventually. Thanks, but I don't know. I just feel like 
with all this calling I've been doing lately, like, I feel like I've been losing steam, to be honest. I forget all that. Just keep working on it, you'll be good. I guess. Oh, hey, uh, I see Katie over there. Let's go hang out with them. Mm. What's with that look, babe? You look like you've been slapped by a silly stick. Babes, remember that one thing we were talking about? Yeah? Wow. In conclusion, with our focus on these groups in the fourth quarter, we should be able to drive our exposure, continue to develop our unique sound, and hopefully propel us into the next decade. Great job, Trey. Really awesome stuff. Oh, thank, thank you, Sean. Yeah, really, really great stuff. Can't wait to see your, uh, your latest stuff come out. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, I've been going at it in the studio really hard. <laughs> but it should be something, hopefully. Good stuff. Trey, quick question for you. Yes. Can you elaborate a little more on the uh, demographic research? Oh yeah, absolutely. Great question, Steve. Uh, if you go back two or three pages, what we see here is that the younger generation, they tend to consume their music through other media sources, uh, internet, Spotify, etc. Trey. Yeah. Can we uh, go over there? Trey, this last patch you gave us, still super buggy. Wait, really? I, I thought it was working last week, I mean... And the meeting last week? I just... Is there something bothering you back home? No, no. Remember what we talked about during your review last quarter? Um, yeah. Well, there's no easy way to say this. This has been going on for years. Honestly, that review came in kind of late. It seems like your heart's just not in it anymore. And with the direction our department's going, it's just not possible to keep you around anymore. All right, well, uh, best of luck. I hope you can get straightened out, whatever it is you need straightened out. Uh, Grace can help you with anything in your exit interview. And Trey, anything, if you need anything, you can come to me.
Hey, Roy, what's up? What's up? Dude, where's my money? Hey, I know, I know. I got you. Uh, I got some money coming in next week. Uh, I should be able to get you that. Next week? Next week? That's all I keep saying next week. It's been like seven weeks. Yeah, I know, I know. I hear you. Um, no, for real, though. Uh, I got this big gig coming. I, 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 right, I, well, I got... Listen, have it to me on Monday or you're out of here. Hey, Jeff, man, dude, really, really good work. Uh, really try to drive that first line, like, you know, like, she's been around, like, you know what I'm saying? She's been around. Like, really, really put some mmm into okay. it. I got you. Yeah. We good? Okay. Yeah, good yeah, shit, man. Thank you. She's been around. One moment, please. Thank you for calling ComTech. This is Trey speaking. How can I help you? Uh, what's with the bags? Oh, Frankie and Nick came over. They just dropped some bags off. Oh, okay. What were you saying about going somewhere? Oh, yeah, just go to the bar, get some drinks, some shots, your friends will be there. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a big birthday celebrating kind of guy. I'm not. Just come on. It'll be fun, I promise. Uh, all right. Anyways, happy birthday, dude. Oh, thanks. Big 3 0. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, Nick and Frankie, they couldn't make it tonight? Nah, Nick's with Andrea at Lamont's class, and Frankie's got some work thing. I think he's up for VP next week or something like that. How's uh, things been going? Um, fine. Good. Works good. But, oh, no, uh, actually, I'm not an inventive anymore. Oh, yeah? How long has that been? A couple of months, really. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we haven't hung out since then. Yeah. Everything's been so busy and everything. And... Yeah, no, I've had it. Have you been trying to get back into the scene at all? Didn't you have an interview with Rockford? Yeah, that went okay. No, I didn't get it though. Wow. That was. Jeez. 11 months ago. Wow, it's really been that long. What, what have you been working on since then? Yeah, no, like, you know, I've been kind of busy with stuff. You know, I mean, it's... Hey. 
Talk to him. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. You still got some game left, don't you? Excuse me. Uh, my friend here has a needs an opinion on something. Uh, yeah. So it's his birthday. He just turned thirty. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> He's trying to make up his mind about whether he should go on the road with his band, which is something he really loves to do. But you know, the pay's not great and the hours are long. Or he can stay and work in the studio, which is you know maybe not quite his style, but the pay's a lot better. Oh, what instrument do you play? Uh, a little bit of everything. I like your necklace. Oh, thanks. My boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. Hey, uh, well, it was actually really nice to meet you, but we really have to get going to this thing, so... All right. Hello. Hey, uh, Mr. Haley. This is Trey Upton Lee. I sent you my cover letter and portfolio a few weeks ago. Sorry, I don't remember. I'm really sorry to bother you at this hour, but I was wondering if you had just like five minutes to go over some of my background and materials really quickly. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I was supposed to meet my wife for dinner in like 10 minutes. The only reason I picked up the call is I thought it was her and my assistant's gone for the night. Oh, I understand, but I, I promise I can get through this in under three minutes. Well, okay. Oh, thank you. So, my portfolio I sent you a few weeks ago, it has just a bit of my own work, sure, but mostly it contains notes and reviews on dozens of local acts, including critiques and write-ups. Uh, I also sent production improvements on several tracks as well. So what are you looking for, exactly? Uh, my background is varied, but just know that I've been a huge follower of several scenes my whole life. I play, produce, review, and help different bands get their sound just right. I think my biggest skill is just crystallizing exactly what sound and act is trying to achieve. I can help them produce it as well. So you mentioned you uh, have some reworking and uh, some reviews of some of these uh, local acts. Can you tell me in 30 seconds what some of your ideas are? <laughs> of course! Uh, for example, uh, George Richards. His third album was a brave departure from his usual genre, which will unfortunately not be well received by the public, in my opinion. Uh, also, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they're really new. Uh, there's a band called Valleys and Ravines. Have you heard of them? They're absolutely a band to watch out for. Valleys and Ravines? Really? Oh yeah, I saw them live at this little dive uh, on the west side two weeks ago one of the most honest and mature sounds I've ever heard from a band that young. Uh, seriously, if I had to bet, I'd tell you for sure they were gonna make it big in a few years. I actually have heard of Valleys and Ravines. I was the only one who wrote a good review of them in our meetings recently. No kidding! <laughs> well listen, Trey, you certainly sound like you know what you're talking about. I gotta go now, but I'll tell you what. Tomorrow morning, when I get in, I'll look for the package you sent me. And then to maybe in tomorrow afternoon around four, you come by the office and we'll continue the conversation. We're actually in the midst of looking for another production assistant. And if you're all that you've advertised yourself to be, maybe something can be worked out. Oh, great, yes, absolutely, sir. I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. All right, well, you take care now. Thanks again. Bye, sir.